Res ball is up and down, run and gun, shoot, you know, maybe a little bit of dribbling, but it's just kicking the ball down the side. Run and gun is pretty much giving up really great passes, running the floor, getting a great shot. If you have the three, you're wide open, shoot the three. If not, attack. Very, very rare you use a timeout. So it's just up and down. That's pretty much res ball. Res ball is a thing. It's something that anybody that lives around a reservation knows, oh, res ball. To my community, Basketball is everything. It's our outlet, you know, especially at a young age. Everyone wants to go play basketball. You know, where's the next tournament? You know, who's playing in the tournament? You know, how many teams they have? The families, the grandmas, the grandpas, the parents, uh, community leaders, they thrive on uh, competition. There's tournaments there every weekend. And, you know, if there's a state tournament, it's not just the immediate family that comes, it's the entire town. and it's really been a source not only of love and, and passion, but it's been a vehicle for a lot of young men and women on the reservation to have other opportunities. I've seen Rinaldi Pacenti, Rini Chris, Kaylin Carl, and Michelle Tom. These are all great in, individuals with good characters, and they were able to use the game of basketball to get to where they want to go. We came from little little small hometowns with maybe one store, but basketball was our ticket. Basketball has taken us everywhere. Never my wildest dreams ever, I would ever think ASU with women's basketball, Baylor would come to my small community and it's exciting, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. Many of the kids haven't seen a collegiate game, but for it to come to Fort Defiance and it's gonna be like everything to all these little kids. It's been a while since we've had a unique event to grow the game of women's basketball. We absolutely wanna shine the light on the love of basketball on the reservation and really how it impacts that community. I mean, how they rally around the game. We're really excited about uh, the event that will be taking place. We were very thankful that the two universities, pre prestigious universities, were able to agree and to bring the game of basketball to the uh, Navajo Nation. I can only imagine how many uh, Native American kids or kids and minorities or underserved populations that were able to see this game and give them a chance to see themselves and, and their future for college athletics or even at a university. It's so important that they get exposure to uh, things that they do from away from the reservation. We're going to have four guest coaches for this game. All four played basketball at ASU. First of all, we have Rinaldi Vicente, whose jersey has been retired, is in our Hall of Fame. And to this day, she has made her life's mission to basically, through camps and clinics, basically inspire young people to create opportunities for themselves through basketball. Dr. Michelle Tom came to us by way of Phoenix College, an incredibly passionate, committed person who said, Charlie, I'm gonna become a doctor and go back to my hometown and help my people. He just moved back home and is a, a doctor, gonna be a family physician on the reservation. Kayleen Carl was a walk-on freshman for me uh, my first year at ASU, and she, upon graduation, joined the military, joined the Air Force, and then after serving her time, she joined the police academy and then after doing that for a while and having a family, she has two kids, she now is back with the Air Force. Our last guest coach will be Rainy Crisp, who played for me and uh, was an amazing, amazingly energized player. And she came to us from uh, Navajo Prep in New Mexico. She went back home, became a teacher, became a coach, and just got named athletic director at her high school. Just inspirational young women um, that are really gonna speak to how basketball has helped um, the Native American community. I'm quite impressed with what Charlie has done with the Native American game and it's brought it to another level. It's not now just more of a local game for Arizona, but more of a national game. Our coach from ASU, and she knows what it means to be able to bring these kind of competition to the Navajo Nation. I feel much joy and uh, feel very honored that Charlie is able to recognize what is huge in Arizona. We represent 19 different tribes, and for her to give us recognition such as that is an instrumental thing. We're not recognized very much in mainstream media in the past, so hopefully this kind of catapults that. 
Coach Turner has made a great impact to the, to the Navajo Nation, not just the Navajo Nation, but to the, all Native Americans. She's inspired not just Native Americans, but she's inspired a lot of people. For her to go and, and, and put the show down in, in Fort Defiance, I mean, you know, hands off to Coach Turner. You know, she, she may not realize, but she's inspired a lot of us. She's inspired me because dreams can come true because never in my wildest dreams would, would this would be ever happen.